Hi, it's Ray, and today we have a 20 minute arm workout to target the biceps and the triceps. And these are two 10 minute workouts that I posted recently that several of you have said how much you'd like to be able to do one after the other. So I thought I'd join them together for you and you can just come here and play this video. So let's get started. Join me for a sevens biceps burnout. We will do seven reps of three different curl types back to back without resting. So 21 reps in a row in total. I am using three and five kilo dumbbells. You can join me with no weights, bottles of water, one or two pairs of dumbbells. Not too heavy because of the high rep range. Whatever suits your current ability. You can do this standing, but I like to do seated as it makes it easier to take the pressure off the pelvic floor. It also helps to stop you using momentum to lift the weights. Okay, let us warm up by performing the exercise with no weights. This will get you used to the movement and warm up the muscles. I will talk through some cues for you to use as we are warming up. Sitting with your back upright, shoulders back, keep your elbows tight into your body with your palms facing up. We start with seven reps of bottom bicep curls, focusing on the bottom of the movement, stopping when the elbow is bent to 90 degrees. After seven reps, start at the middle, after that last bottom curl, curling to the top, but stopping halfway down, focusing on the top of the movement. Try not to let the upper arm drop below, parallel to the floor. And lastly, seven reps of full bicep curls, we want a full range of motion. Squeeze your biceps at the top and then fully extend the arms down, but don't let the biceps relax. We want to keep constant tension on the biceps. Now we can have a short rest and then grab our first set of weights. I am doing my first set with three kilos. Choose your weight, or you can carry on with just body weight. Remember to breathe throughout. Inhale on the lowering of the weight and exhale on the lift. Let's go. Seven reps of bottom curls from the bottom to halfway up. Extend the arms down, but don't let the biceps relax at the bottom. Don't come up too high. Think about your forearm being parallel to the ground. Straight on to seven reps of top bicep curls, curling to the top, but stopping halfway down. Ideally, with the upper arms not dropping below parallel to the floor. And to finish with the seven reps of full bicep curls, we want to keep the tension on throughout the movement. Squeeze your biceps at the top, extend the arms down, but don't let the biceps relax at the top or bottom. Now we can have about a 30 second rest. And then I am going up in weight for my next set. Okay, grab your weights and let's go with our second set. Seven reps of bottom curls from the bottom to halfway up. Extend the arms down, but don't let the biceps relax at the bottom. Straight on to seven reps of top bicep curls, curling to the top, stopping halfway down. Look at your arm, you will often come lower than you think. And to finish with the seven reps of full bicep curls, squeeze your biceps at the top. So I breathe in on the way down and out on the way up. It's worth remembering that your pelvic floor relaxes on the inhale, contracts and lifts on the exhale. Now we can have about a 30 second rest, have a drink, walk around, shake the arms.
Are you ready for our third set? Okay, seven reps of bottom curls from the bottom to halfway up. Remember to breathe. Inhale on the lowering of the weight and exhale on the lift. Straight on to seven reps of top bicep curls, curling to the top but stopping halfway down. And to finish with the seven reps of full bicep curls, remember your form as it gets tough. Try not to use momentum to lift the weights. If it gets too hard, you can do a drop set and use a lighter weight to finish. Then we are going to have a rest and change our grip and do the same method with hammer curls. Hammer curls are similar to bicep curls, but are performed with the palms facing each other throughout the movement. I find them slightly harder and you will be tired by now, so take your lightest weight. Okay, ready? This time, hold the dumbbells at your sides with your palms facing each other. I angle my dumbbells slightly away from my body as I find it kinder to my elbows. Seven reps of bottom hammer curls from the bottom to halfway up. Extend the arms down, but don't let the biceps relax at the bottom. Straight on to seven reps of top hammer curls, curling to the top, stopping halfway down. Rest anytime you need to. And you can always put the weights down and complete a set just using body weight. And to finish with the seven reps of full hammer curls, same form as before, squeeze your biceps at the top and don't let them rest at the top or bottom. Unlike my beginner's workout videos, in today's workout, I train as I would normally. So you will see the intensity I train with. Okay, about a 30 second rest before the second set of hammer curls. If you feel the weight was too light last time, go up. I am going up in weight, but if you found it hard last time, keep to the same weight. Remember, palms are facing each other throughout this movement. Let's pick up our weights to start. Seven reps of bottom hammer curls from the bottom to halfway up. Straight on to seven reps of top hammer curls, curling to the top, stopping halfway down. And to finish with the seven reps of full hammer curls, same form as before, squeeze your biceps at the top. Don't let them rest. You can see I am close to failure, trying to not to use momentum to lift the weights. Okay, a 30 second rest, and then our third and last set of hammer curls. I am sticking with my heavier weight. Pick up your weights and let's go. Seven reps of bottom hammer curls from the bottom to halfway up. Straight on to seven reps of top hammer curls, curling to the top, stopping halfway down. And to finish with the seven reps of full hammer curls, same form as before. If it gets too hard, you can do a drop set and use a lighter weight to finish, just like I do here. If you are maintaining good form, you will feel the burn. This is my second time of performing this workout. I had to film it twice for the video, so I am really feeling it now. Now we have time for a finisher, so grab your weights 
Otherwise, you can do this with no weights. These are seated curls partials. Hold the dumbbells on your lap with palms facing up. Curl up and then curl down until your hands almost touch your lap and then pull the dumbbells back up. Don't rest at the bottom. Do as many reps as you can. We are trying to go to failure. If one arm fails before your other one, then you must stop. Okay, now we can have about a 30 second rest. Next is overhead triceps extensions. Take a seat. Let us warm up by performing the exercises with no weights, arms overhead, bend from the elbows, come all the way down and all the way up. You want to keep your elbows close to your head. Keep the upper arm still and hinge from the elbow. Let's do 12 reps. Now let's stand for tricep kickbacks. Bring your elbows up so your arms are parallel to the ground. Breathe out when you do the kickback. Think about squeezing the muscle as you bring your arm up and fully extend back. Pull slightly in the extended position. We are doing 12 reps. I want you to think about squeezing the muscle, your triceps, when you are performing each movement. Okay, now we are warmed up and ready to start. Let's take a seat and pick up your lightest weight for our single arm overhead tricep extension. Start with your weakest arm. Take your dumbbell and bring it overhead. Engage your core, extend the dumbbell overhead, squeezing the tricep and come down nice and slow. As you slowly bend your elbow, lower the weight behind your head as far as you can. Think about creating an arc with your elbow close to your head and bringing the dumbbell down towards the opposite shoulder. Don't let your elbow flare out as this will put strain on your shoulder. We will do 12 reps and then go onto the other arm. Again, remember to keep your core tight. Extend the dumbbell overhead, squeezing the tricep. Slowly bend your elbow and lower the weight behind your head as far as you can. Remember to breathe. Breathe in on the way down and out on the extension. Also, be careful not to hit your head with the dumbbell. Remember to keep good posture and your core engaged. Straight on to single arm tricep kickbacks. I am taking my heavier weight. Again, start with your weaker side. Bring your elbow up so your arm is parallel to the ground. Breathe out when you do the kickback. Think about squeezing the muscle as you bring your arm up and fully extend back. Pause slightly in the extended position. Let's aim for 12 reps. Now for the other side. Bring your elbow up so your arm is parallel to the ground. Breathe out when you do the kickback. Do 12 reps or however many you managed on the first side. By leaning over like this, we can get our arm up to parallel a lot easier than if we stand more upright. You can rest your other hand on your knee like I do, or your chair for support. Now, straight onto our tricep dips. Using your chair or bench, keep tall posture, hands underneath your shoulder shoulder blades away from the ears and keep your chin tucked. Lower yourself down, bending at the elbows. Your elbows should be pointed back. Make sure you keep your hips close to the chair. If you go too far out, you'll put strain on the shoulders. We will start with the feet close to us, but you can make this harder by taking your feet out further. Try it and you will see what I mean. If your triceps are fairly weak, start with small dips. 
Okay, now we can leave about a 30 second rest and then I am going up in weight for my next set. So grab your weight and let's go with our second set. Don't forget to start with your weakest arm. Take your dumbbell overhead, core engaged, extend the dumbbell overhead, squeeze the tricep, keep your elbow close to your head, bring the dumbbell down towards the opposite shoulder. Don't let your elbow flare out. Remember to keep good posture and breathe throughout. We will aim for 12 reps. Now I can only do nine at this weight, so I drop to my lower weight to finish my set. Do the same if you need to, or even finish with just body weight. And then go on to the other arm. Remember your form, core engaged, extend the dumbbell overhead, squeezing the tricep. Slowly bend your elbow and lower the weight behind your head as far as you can. Remember to breathe. Breathe in on the way down and out on the extension. Do the same amount of reps on this arm as you did on the first arm. So for me, that is nine with my five kilo dumbbell and three with my three kilo. Straight on to our single arm tricep kickbacks. Again, start with your weaker side. Bring your elbow up so your arm is parallel to the ground. Think about squeezing the muscle as you fully extend back. Pull slightly in the extended position. Breathe out when you do the kickback. Let's aim for 12 reps. Now for the other side. Bring your elbow up so your arm is parallel to the ground. Breathe out when you do the kickback. Do 12 reps or however many you managed on the first side. Now, straight on to our tricep dips. Remember, tall posture, hands underneath your shoulders, shoulder blades away from the ears. Lower yourself down, bending at the elbows, elbows pointed back. Keep your hips close to the chair. You can feel like you are scraping against the edge of the chair to know you are in the right position. I take my feet out further to start with, but have to bring them in closer as I am finding my triceps are getting tired now. Tricep dips are very effective. They use a full range of movement, but if you are a beginner and lacking range, don't go so far down. Focus on the press up rather than how far down you can go. Now, we can have about a 30 second rest and then I take my heavier weight. Let's go with our third and final set. Take your dumbbell overhead, core engaged. Extend the dumbbell overhead. Squeeze the tricep. Keep your elbow close to your head and bring the dumbbell down towards the opposite shoulder. We will aim for 12 reps, but this set, I can only do five at this weight. So I drop to my lower weight to finish my set. Did you know this is called a drop set? Do the same if you need to, or even finish with just body weight. And then go on to the other arm. Again, remember your form, core engaged, extend the dumbbell overhead, squeezing the tricep. Slowly bend your elbow and lower the weight behind your head as far as you can. 
Breathe in on the way down and out on the extension. Do the same amount of reps on this arm as you did on the first arm. Straight onto our single arm tricep kickbacks. Again, start with your weaker side. Bring your elbow up so your arm is parallel to the ground. Think about squeezing the muscle as you fully extend back. Pour slightly in the extended position. Breathe out when you do the kickback. Let's aim for 12 good reps. Now for the other side. Bring your elbow up so your arm is parallel to the ground. Breathe out when you do the kickback. Do 12 reps or however many you managed on the first side. Now straight on to our tricep dips. Remember tall posture, hands underneath your shoulders, shoulder blades away from the ears, chin tucked, lower yourself down, bending at the elbows. Keep your hips close to the chair. I take my feet out further to start with, but I have to bring them in closer to finish my set. Ah, oh, yes, we've finished. So now we're going to stretch our triceps out. First, a horizontal stretch. Take your arms across, bend the arm and push through your elbow to stretch the tricep. I hold for about 12 to 15 seconds. Now an overhead tricep stretch. Just by bending the elbow, we stretch the tricep out. But here, let's take our arm back as far as we can. Keep your torso straight, don't bend to the side. To get strong toned arms, you need to train your triceps, shoulders and your biceps. So follow along to my other workouts too. I do hope you enjoyed the workout. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, keep living yourself young.